All right, the futures point south, but not that much, down about 100 on the Dow. David Barnson back with us this Friday morning. Look, we got two hotter-than-expected inflation reports this week. Is that the big problem for stocks this morning? Well, no, I don't think there's a big problem with it. You have to remember the stocks are up huge on the year. Uh, it's a bigger issue with bonds. You see that the bond yeah. yields have moved up, especially on the short end of the curve. Six month, one year are the highest yields they've been in about 15 years. Um, but in terms of the stock market, it really has more to do with what's going to happen from higher rates. Are we going to get a recession and how severe of a recession will that be? That's the bigger open ended question with stocks. You're our dividend guy. And you, as usual, you brought along some stocks that pay a strong and rising dividend. First off, you've got Chevron. Make your case on Chevron, please. Yes, with Chevron, and it's going to be a similar story to Exxon, so we can just kill two birds with one stone. They both have been paying a dividend and growing the dividend for decades through really bad periods, through inflation, deflation, war, COVID. And right now, both dividends are in that three and a half percent range. And I just want to remind people that there is so much geopolitical instability. Energy becomes not just a way to make money, as it has for the last couple of years. It's a great defensive hedge against Russia, Iran, China, some of these crazy things happening in the world, Stuart. And the other one is, uh, is I thought it was UMI. What's, it, what's the full yeah. name? The Midstream Energy. Tell me more about that, because I think that yields 5%, doesn't it? it? It does, and it's growing rapidly. It's 5% now, but it's really about 8% from what people would have bought it at over a year ago. It's just up a lot. And it's these pipelines. It's the people that are transporting and storing oil and gas. That's less volatile than you know, your Exxons and your producers. It's a great yield and we have to build out our energy infrastructure. I continue to make this point. Midstream energy is an under-owned asset, very attractive. So for David Barton, at this moment, the best place for your money for this year is energy still, correct? No, I would not say it's the best place. It's okay. a place, but you have to be diversified. Yep. Energy may not be the top performing sector this year. That's just different than saying it's going to be the bottom performing. I think it belongs in the portfolio, but you need to have me on for the whole three hours to tell you everywhere to put your money. <laughs> if you're not careful, you might get that. Uh, by the way, I think you might have moved the market. Uh, UMI went from red to green as you were speaking and as we detailed the 5% uh, dividend there. There you go. It's up this morning. Hey, David, thanks very much, sir. We will see you again real soon. Got it.